Rabbits are extremely sociable animal. Rabbits, like many other animals, rely on a social hierarchy to preserve the peace among group members. This implies that when two rabbits encounter, they will automatically assess each other and try to identify whether the other rabbit is higher or lower rank than them. They will try to establish dominance in the relationship until one of them is victorious. In general, rabbits establish dominance using elaborate behavioral cues that include mounting, chasing, bowing, and grooming. Once bonded, some pairs of rabbits have a visibly established hierarchy, while other pairs will only show subtle signs of their hierarchical relationship. Understanding the dominant connection between rabbits might help you engage with your bunnies more effectively. You may pet and feed your rabbits in a way that does not strain the connection, and you will understand which actions are hostile and which are normal. Understanding Rabbit Hierarchy In almost all species of animals that work cooperatively in groups, there is some form of a pecking order. This reduces aggression within the group by causing the rabbits to take turns instead of all the members attempting to attain the available resources at the same time. In times of limited resources, this practice also ensures the survival of the species over the individual. Because of this, rabbits will instinctively try to size each other up when they first meet. They'll try to determine if the rabbit they are looking at is of a higher or lower rank and then treat them accordingly. They will go through a process where each will try to claim dominance in the relationship. You will observe many behaviors that are part of the dominance dance, and you'll know which rabbit is the leader by paying close attention. Mounting while mounting can, of course, be a sexual behavior when rabbits want to procreate, it is also a dominant behavior. During bonding, the top rabbit will try to claim their spot by mounting and humping the other rabbit. This is a phenomenon that occurs between pairs of rabbits that are the same gender as well as opposite genders. Sometimes the male rabbit is on top, and sometimes it's the female mounting a male. This mounting behavior will happen frequently during the bonding process, as the top one asserts its position. It's usually not as common once the pair are living happily together. Occasionally you might notice the dominant rabbit mounting just to remind the other bunny that they are the boss. If you are currently bonding your rabbits and notice a lot of mounting, that's completely normal, and there is no need to break up the rabbits. The only times you should stop one rabbit from humping the other is if the bottom rabbit seems uncomfortable or if the dominant rabbit tries to hump the other's face. Otherwise, trying to break them up can keep your rabbits from fully bonding with each other since this act helps them determine their relationship. Even though mounting is a widespread behavior, it's not going to be a part of every rabbit relationship. Grooming Usually, one of the easiest ways to figure out which rabbit is dominant is by watching the rabbits groom each other. In most relationships, the dominant rabbit will receive much more grooming than the other rabbit. The lower ranking rabbit will be expected to lick and groom the top bun, especially in places like the ears, eyes, and forehead. The boss rabbit doesn't have the same expectation. The dominant bunny can still choose to groom the other rabbit if they want to. However, the lower ranking rabbit won't get offended if their requests for grooming are ignored, while the top bunny will often be more demanding. It's important to remember that all situations are different, so it's always important to pay attention to all of the dominant behaviors in a rabbit relationship, and not just depend on one aspect to figure out who is the top bunny. Bowing A rabbit is bowing when they place their head down in front of the other rabbit to ask to be groomed. Typically they will approach the other rabbit from the front, nose to nose, and then put their head down with their ears up. Sometimes they will stick their head directly under the other rabbit's chin. In a relationship where neither rabbit has established their dominance yet, the second rabbit may reciprocate by putting its own head down instead of grooming the rabbit. There will be a standoff with both rabbits asking to be groomed with their heads down. This is because, in most rabbit relationships, the first rabbit to give in and groom the other is accepting the position as the lower ranking bunny. If this goes on long enough, it can end in a fight when one rabbit gets offended that the other won't groom them. It's also why seeing one rabbit groom the other during bonding is a huge step in the relationship. It's a clear sign that the two rabbits are starting to determine the hierarchy between them. After your rabbits are bonded, you will still see this behavior a lot. Typically, the dominant rabbit will bow to ask for grooming all the time. However, the lower ranking rabbits will still do this occasionally. They will not get offended if the boss ignores them, though. Flattening Flattening looks very similar to bowing, but it has the complete opposite meaning. This is when one rabbit pushes themselves against the ground and lays their ears down their back. This is submissive behavior. The lower ranking rabbit will assume this posture if they believe the dominant rabbit is upset and don't want to challenge the higher ranking bunny. Sometimes, the boss bunny will see this behavior and give the lower rabbit a couple of licks on their forehead to acknowledge it, making it look a lot like bowing. 
However, you will typically see this behavior in different scenarios. If the dominant rabbit races toward the other bunny, the lower ranking rabbit might get scared and flatten himself to the ground as a way to say they are not a threat. Chasing Chasing is a standard behavior that you will see during bonding and occasionally after your rabbits are a happy bonded pair too. It's a behavior that looks a little bit scary to watch if you are new to bonding. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing. As long as one rabbit is chasing and the other is running away, this is simply a dominance ritual where the boss bunny claims its position by chasing the other rabbit. By running away instead of turning to fight, the other rabbit accepts their lower ranking position. This chasing behavior should not be accompanied by any truly aggressive behavior. While you might see the occasional nipping or tuft of fur being pulled, the rabbits are not actually trying to harm each other but instead remind the other rabbit who is the boss, you might not see any chasing at all. Since the rabbits know their place in the relationship, there is no need to continue the chasing ritual. However, you still might see this behavior every once in a while if the dominant bunny gets upset at something the other rabbit is doing or if they want to reassert its dominance. Circling Circling is not as common among rabbits who have been spayed or neutered, and you should make sure your rabbit has been spayed slash neutered before attempting to bond them. However, you may notice this behavior occasionally. Circling is when the dominant rabbit runs wide circles around the other rabbit as an intimidation technique. It's often followed by mounting and humping as the top bunny asserts its position. Nipping and fur pulling. While it can be difficult to watch during the bonding process, a small amount of nipping and fur pulling is nothing to be worried about. These are signs that the rabbits are learning how to communicate with each other. The dominant rabbit will nip or pull a small tuft of fur when they are annoyed at the other rabbit or want them to move out of the way. They will also show these behaviors if they are chasing the other rabbit away from food or a toy that the dominant rabbit wants to access first. Typically, the rabbits will learn nicer ways of talking with each other, and they learn to speak the same language. Following the leader Another behavior that you will notice once your rabbits have started to feel more secure in their relationship is a kind of follow the leader behavior. You'll see when the boss bunny wanders around exploring, the lower ranking rabbit will follow a few steps behind them. It's a way of both staying out of the dominant rabbit's way and taking comfort in know that the leader already went through the area and deemed it safe. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.